Welcome to another day at Walt Disney World. We're here at All Star Movies and off to my favourite park out of every Disney park in any Disney resort in the entire world, which is of course Epcot. And um, I've got my UK ears on. I have this dress, which if it's still available, I will link below. It goes very well with these ears, I have to say. It was quite a good, good match when I saw those. Yesterday, I was not feeling very well. I actually ended up having to have a whole day here at the resort just in the room i felt really unwell which is super unusual for me on a disney trip and not what i want to happen but i'm feeling a lot better today so fingers crossed i will be able to make the whole day catherine actually went to animal kingdom i did yep. you were really she was really oh, really it was bad, bad yeah but you had a good day didn't you yeah it was really really good i did that animation class at rafiki's planet watch yes. which was so fun i've never done that before yeah so that's really good so i will link catherine's vlog from animal kingdom yesterday so you can head over and watch that but hopefully i'm back on track now and every day I will be out and about and feeling good. Today we're going to be riding Guardians. We've got boarding group 14, which is quite a low number, so hopefully we'll get to do that this morning. But you guys know the first thing we need to do when we get there. <laughs> coffee! We didn't even have an in-room coffee this morning. No! We've had nothing, no nothing. caffeine. I'm surprisingly chipper for no caffeine. Oh, look at this! And we can see there's two Epcot buses about to pull in, so we are... Uh, doing somewhat of a power walk, as much as a power walk I can manage, to the bus stop. So I think we should get on the next one and hopefully get a seat. Catherine's getting a bit tense because she needs some caffeine. It's like, it's... I don't have coffee on one. Yeah. I'm glad we're the same in that respect, definitely. Oh, and another development this morning that I have to tell you about. These sunglasses, I have lost and found them about three or four times over the last, maybe six or seven years and they've been lost again i have found them it's these ones i'm sure you guys remember these they've appeared in the vlogs on and off over the years but i seem to lose them for ages at a time i found them in the owner's locker very much hidden away so yeah they're back i love them they were from boohoo i don't think you can get them anymore if you can i'll link them but i'm pretty sure you can't we've just been called for bag check i should mention that's happened like every time and i think it's because i've mentioned before about power banks and umbrellas i take those out of the bag but i've got a mini can of like spray deodorant and hairspray i think that's what's setting mine off catherine's just got everything that's setting everything. it off he was like yeah that'll do it that'll do it that'll do it i was like i gave up i just walked through it all yeah now. so if you do have stuff in your bag you might get called for a bag check every time if you have items that just look a bit weird in the scanner but usually it's like umbrellas um like say power banks my hairspray bottle stuff like that but it's fine it's very very quick compared to what it used to be i love their new system of checking bags it is so much quicker and today i have on my epcot 40th magic band plus which Catherine bought me for my birthday so it's all charged up and ready to go oh thank you so much We've just been taking some photos as we've come in and my favourite music has started. This is the music that makes me cry every single time. It makes me emotional. Yes, Connections Cafe. We are so buzzing. And it's nice and quiet at this time in the morning also. Okay, let's get in this line. And because we've got a fairly early boarding group, I reckon by the time we've had this coffee, it'll be time to go and ride Guardians. We have got our coffee. And actually, that didn't take very long at all this morning compared to last time. So I've got my uh, vanilla blonde roast latte. But I only get a little tiny bit of vanilla. I asked them to just put a very light shot of vanilla in, otherwise it's too sweet. But I did get this, I've never tried it before. I was determined to try a different Starbucks snack today because I always either have a cheese Danish or sometimes in Hollywood Studios the carrot cake cookie, but I got a blondie today. And this is what it looks like. I'm assuming it's basically a brownie, but a blonde version. I know that sounds probably obvious, but I'm assuming that's what it is. I've never tried it before. Just for research purposes, let me try it so I can tell you if that is what it is. It's not as um, dense as a brownie, it's a little bit more kind of soft and spongy, but really, really nice. And pretty much as soon as we're done with this, it's going to be time to ride Guardians, which you guys know I absolutely love. It's kind of up there in terms of like real rides for me, you know I'm a bit of a ride wimp, but because it's so new, it's very, very smooth and I do absolutely love it. So we're just about to get onto Guardians. We've had a bit of a disaster, um, more specifically Catherine has. Um, she was Always. in the restroom and her camera fell and it has smashed the um this on the nice 800 pound lens <sighs> it's a really expensive lens it's only the the actual filter that is broken we don't think 
um, the rest of it is broken but we need to get that off and it's stuck so we're gonna go my guardians and then we're gonna go over um, there is a camera center store where they do like the photo pass pictures we're gonna see if they have um, I think we just need a little tool we've just watched a YouTube video on how to get the thing off and we think we just need to un like where it's bent like pull it out so we're gonna go and see if they can help us um, a complete nightmare not good very scary when it's an expensive camera especially when it's the start of the one festival it's really looking forward yeah, to like just... taking photos out and filming but oh. fingers crossed it's at the end of the day it's a material possession i'll get over it but it's just it's such a bummer which, but these things happen you know i like to let you know the realities in the vlog these things do happen while you're away so we're gonna go and ride guardians try and like True. revive ourselves and then we will go and see what we can do about it heading into this amazing queuing area i love this so much it's very relaxing it's a very relaxing vibe in here I am still trying to comprehend you Terrans and your terms I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan commander of the Nova Corps on behalf of all Xandarians I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar so we decided to come to you but even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the cosmic generator an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Okay, we are off Guardians. That ride is just... It's so good. It's so really good. Nice. It's so good. We had Everybody Wants to Rule the World as the song. Yeah, it's And it's so really chill. relaxing. Yeah, it feels like... It almost takes the edge off how intense the ride is because it's such a relaxing song. That's my favourite song I've had so far, actually, um, riding that ride, so amazing. And now we're going to see if we can do something about Catherine's camera real quick to see if we can uh, resolve that. They have some Walt Disney Productions items here. So they have this shirt and look at this mug. It says Walt Disney cartoonist on one side and this is 19.99. It's quite a shallow mug though, size-wise I don't think that'd be any good for me. So we had no joy with the camera. Unfortunately, they didn't have any pliers or anything that will help. So Catherine's just gonna have to kind of carry on with the camera as it is. She keeps trying to get it, it just won't come off, it's a nightmare. So later on, we're probably gonna go to Walmart or somewhere, get some pliers and see if we can get that off. So it's just one of those things we're trying to just, you know, get on with it, but it's very annoying. <laughs> It's a material object, yeah. yeah. I use it for like my channels and stuff, but it is what it is. There's no point yeah. dwelling on it. It no. sucks, but there's no point dwelling. What in this world? Let's just enjoy it. Exactly, these things happen. So we're going to go into Creation Store, or Creation Shop. I always call it store, it's actually called Creation Shop, and take a look at the merchandise, see if there's anything new. Then I think we're gonna head into World Showcase and start going around Festival of the Arts, showing you guys all the artwork. Just love it, I love this park so much. As soon as we walk in, I've seen this hoodie. I saw this last time, I really do like it. I feel like that'd be nice for me wearing at home in the winter. I don't know though, I have a lot of spirit jerseys and spirit jerseys are more my, my thing. Let's carry on looking. And they have a big display of the Disney 100 items here. Ooh, maybe I need a Disney 100 ornament. I always get an ornament on every trip and I feel like I definitely need a 100 one. I do like that one with Chip and Dale. Ooh, we have some ears here that I haven't seen before. These are $39.99. And they've got the castle with 50 in the middle and very similar to the mug I bought the other day, the kind of black with the iridescent. Speaking of which, they have the mug right over here and when I showed it to Becky, she kind of lost her mind and said that she needed one immediately. So I'm gonna pick one up for her. Honestly, I showed it in my stories and you guys were just absolutely loving this. It is so beautiful. I'm not in very good lighting here, there we go. I absolutely love this. This may now be my favorite one that I have. It's $44.99, which is kind of pricey, I won't lie, but I did get my 20% annual pass discount on that. And they have a Haunted Mansion range here, so they have this bag, which has the stripy ears on the top, and also the Mickey plush. I do love this, actually. And this one is 10 of 12. They have lots of different attractions. And they have this 2023 monorail bag. Is this like a lunch bag, I think, or something like that? It's $29.99. And we have more 100 things here. They've got the Mickey soap dispenser. They seem to have one of these for every celebration now. I got my very first one in Tokyo ages ago. And they have a souvenir medallion collector book. 
Oh, okay. I'm not sure where you get the souvenir medallions from, but that's obviously something I'm not uh, in the know about. But this is really nice, this iridescent um, case to put them in. And they have this one, which is for the 100th. I just saw the Disneyland Paris version when I was there last week. Oh my word, look at this. $24.99, it is a Lotso mug. It actually has like a fluffy Lotso cover on. That's awesome. And let's see if there's anything new happening with the ears. I think that these ones are new. They would not be for me. They're a little bit too um, flowery and fluffy, but I can totally see how people would like those and they're brand new in, I think. And they have these, which I think are Tiana ones. I saw those in Disneyland in California. And they do also have these green ones with the checked bow. Those are actually quite nice. I don't really wear anything that colour that they would go with, but I do really like them. And they have these black ones that I showed on my Instagram stories the other day. You guys had mixed opinions about these because the bow is off to the side. It is supposed to be like that, but some of you felt it was a bit not your kind of thing just because of the side bow. But yeah, they are quite nice. They're quite sort of um, understated compared to some of the others. And I think this lounge fly is new. I wonder if they bought this out because it's around Valentine's Day. That is very, very cute. I would imagine that one will be about $75, I'm guessing. $78, that one. And a lot of you guys ask about the ears that I'm wearing today. You can still get them. They're the um, UK pavilion ones. And I'm not sure if we've seen these before. They have like the little sequins kind of stuck on and then the gold and black bow. I don't think I've seen those. And um, this looks like a new spirit jersey as well. Oh, it's like a, um, what is this called? Not velvet. Velour? I don't know if that's what you call it. I'm sure it's called velour. Velour? How do you say it? You guys know what I mean, it's kind of like velvety. And then has Walt Disney World on the back. That would absolutely not be my colour. If anything in the world is not my colour, it is this, but it's very, very nice with the uh, flowers down the sleeve. And they do now have this one in an adult size. I saw it in a child size ages ago, and I think I passed a comment actually that it'd be good if they had it in adult size, and now they do. Really don't need a new spirit jersey though, I just bought one in Paris. Very, very tempted by this though. And another one, I feel like the spirit jersey situation is like out of control at the moment. They have so many. This one almost looks like, I thought it looked like clouds at first. It's giving me like Toy Story vibes, but I think it is more like a tie-dye situation. And that's what it's like on the front. But it's definitely like a denim type of vibe, I would say, with these. And they have this Festival of the Arts mug with figment on. I love the figment artwork on this. The only thing is it's this matte black stuff which does get finger marks on really easily. So I probably wouldn't buy it for that reason. Although they do have the thermal mug version or a similar type of thing. Epcot 40 ears. I don't really need another red pair. I do like those though. And they have these ears as well. I feel like they've got so many new ears and spirit jerseys on this visit. Like absolutely loads of new ones. And if it's your kind of thing, furry pom-pom crocs. These are $64.99. That is kind of a pricey croc and they're fleece lined too. I love these. I just spotted these and I was like, they are so <laughs> Honestly. They do look comfortable. I'm just not a croc person. Oh, I have I to be croc. honest, but they do, I'm sure they're very comfortable. They do look very comfy. We were just on our way out, but look at these. These say fluffy festival on them. So is that anything to do? That's nothing to do with like it Epcot me festivals. It's fluffy, is it? but that's yeah. universal. And I don't it's know. Even got a unicorn. Yeah, it does. That's what I was thinking it was. Anyway, they're very brightly coloured. More brightly coloured crocs. And if you like alternative ears, you can get these oh. ones. Adorable. They are very cute. So I was very restrained in there. I actually only bought the mug for Becky. I didn't buy anything for myself. I saw loads that I liked though. And now we're gonna go and grab some lunch. And we're gonna go and try the Mexico quick service. I don't think in all of the years doing the vlogs I've ever shown that. And it's the closest because we are in Future World and we're very hungry. So we're gonna go and do that. Really warmed up, hasn't it? It's actually quite warm now. Yeah, it's um, the weather is so changeable. A lot of people ask me about that in January and February. You really do need to pack for hot weather and cold. And it can go from one to the other like one day to the next so you really do need to bring kind of everything just in case so we're just heading in here and they have a skittles sponsored booth and look they have a figment drink look at this cake that is crazy i feel like i might need to get that cake at some point not right now and it looks like you can still get yourself a figment popcorn bucket so that is uh maybe calm down a little bit from when it originally came out <laughs> last year i think it was and there's the figment popcorn bucket pickup i can see lots of them there it's actually a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be i thought i would just take a look at the situation with the popcorn bucket 
buckets. So it's $25 for the bucket and some popcorn that comes with it. And it says it's a limit of 10 per guest. Normally you can only get, I want to say two or three. So yeah, 10 per guest you can get. And it's currently 12.35 and I could pick it up between now and 1.10 if I wanted to. So clearly the, the whole figment thing has calmed down slightly from last time. I should have mentioned as well, I think you have to do that to get the figment popcorn bucket. I don't think you can just go up and pay. You have to use the mobile order, I believe. These bubbles have like smoke in them. Ooh, that's fascinating. Oh, they're coming out from over here. I want to pop one to see the smoke. Hold ah! I wanted to pop one and it just popped in my eye. If I was a kid, that would keep me entertained. For hours, yeah. Oh, there we go. Did you see? Yeah. Here we are at La Cantina. We're going to try this out. Um, they don't do mobile order, so I think I'm just going to need to get in line. So that was lucky. We've got ourselves a table by the water. Catherine's just deciding what she wants. Okay, we have food. I'm very excited for this. I got a kid's empanada meal. So basically, there's cheese empanadas, and it comes with tortilla chips. You get some apple slices. It also comes with a cheese sauce. I got some mild salsa. And I did get a side of the rice, because I was just intrigued to try the rice as well. And Catherine went for tacos, and that's the kid's portion. Yeah. So as you can see, the kid's portion is actually really, really good. I always go for that. I find the adult portions are bigger than I need, especially at Epcot when you might be snacking later on in the day as well. Um, so yeah, the kid's portion is actually really, really good size. So conclusion on the food there in the quick service in Mexico, it was fairly plain. So if anyone likes like really spicy Mexican food, it's not like that. Obviously what we had was a kid's meal. I think the adult meals were probably a bit more spicy from what I saw other people eating. Um, if you're like me and you're a plain eater, it actually was fine. And I was really hungry, I just needed some food and the tortilla chips were really, really nice. So now we're gonna head into the Mexico pavilion. It looks like we might have a little rain shower, so it's probably a good time to do this. And maybe ride Grand Fiesta Tour, then we're gonna go and do the China movie. I think Catherine did it last time, so I might watch the movie and she'll have a wander around. And then we are gonna make our way around the World Showcase and this evening we have a reservation at Spice Road Table, which is brand new to me and new here on the vlog. So I'm excited to show you guys that too. And just the smell of this pavilion it is my absolute favorite. And as I walk in, I can kind of smell the ride already. I think it's the water. It's a little bit like pirates and you can just smell that smell. Let me know in the comments if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. I literally can't see what I'm doing unless because I've got sunglasses on. I do that every single time. The very immature part of me just really wants to turn one of these around. I'm obviously not going to. Does anyone else have like weird immature compulsions to do things like that sometimes? They just do such a great job with the theming and the atmosphere and the whole inside outside thing. I love it. And I would quite happily live up here in this building. That could be my permanent home, just overlooking this pavilion. And they do have some new little ceramic dolls. They're actually very cute, I love those. And they have a special Disney 100 pin, and this is Miguel. That's very cute, actually. And these are my favorite. I absolutely love these figurines. I think the one over here in green is my favorite, probably this one. And if you like Mexican food, I would recommend coming here to San Angelin. Even if it's not your favorite thing, it's worth it just for the atmosphere. This restaurant is so awesome, I love it. I always ask for a table by the water. You do have to wait usually a little bit, but it's totally worth it. Very relaxing experience. A nice break from the crowds and the heat in the park if you're here at a hot time of year. But yeah, the food is actually really nice. It's improved a lot over the years and it's really, really good now. I love these little froggies as well, but look at this one. It looks so much more alarmed than all the others. Hey, look at the others, they're all like, Chilling, chilling, happy. happy, and then this one is just like, mm, not, not allowed. And let's head on to the Grand Fiesta Tour, it'd be wrong not to while we're here, I love this ride. I love that. It's like baby Dante. And this is one of the sets of ears they have for the Mexico Pavilion. There is a different set that they have in white and black with like embroidery on, but they also have these. I don't think I've ever seen this cocoa mug before. I really, really like that. It's $16.99. And then on the other side, you have Miguel. The one restaurant in the Mexico Pavilion that I still haven't tried is La Hacienda. So it's kind of similar to San Angelin, but just doesn't have the atmosphere, but it does have a very good firework view. So perhaps at some point on a future trip, I'll try that. And we're just heading into Norway. Best 
best restrooms in this pavilion, which is a random fact, but that's always what I think. We're just over here in Norway, and I've never noticed the little snow guys on the outside of this building. That's very cute. Always notice the new little details every time I come here. So I'm just going to head over to the China booth and see if I can get one of the passports for the festival to see what all of the different booths are, what the different options are and what we need to get. And the weather's actually been really kind to us because it does look a little cloudy but we've had no rain so far today. So touch wood, it stays that way. And the current wait time for Frozen is 75 minutes I think. It's quite far off for me to see it, I'm sure it's 75. So I think we'll give that a miss for now. I don't actually need to get anything from the bakery but let's take a look and see if they've got anything new in here. So so this is the menu and they have school bread which is a really popular item here the lefse which is like a flatbread rolled in cinnamon sugar and butter they have some really good pretzels and i can also recommend the troll horn as well that's what i usually get and i haven't managed to find one of the passports but they do have a festival map here so this tells you all of the different food places and the merchandise and different artists the one that someone told me to go to is deco delights that's r so where is that oh that looks like that's right at the beginning so yeah, just on the way to the Canada Pavilion. So I need to go all the way around for that one. Okay, I'm gonna head in and watch the China movie. I do love this. I say this every time, but I just worry that they'll get rid of it at some point and I won't be here to see it one last time. I always love seeing that little film. It's looking very fancy in here. I'm just walking in to have a very brief look and then I'm gonna go and find Catherine. I think she's been taking some photos and stuff. They always have the cutest stuff in here. Look at this little guy. And they've got this very cute bubble tea. I just took a picture with one of these actually outside. And look at this little avocado guy. And you can also dress your pet as a pirate or a panda. It always amazes me how big this store is. It is absolutely huge. It goes all the way around there. And all the way down here. I remember this booth from before with these Wobots. And I'm really obsessed with this pie picture with the pie and the coffee. I just love how that looks. That'd be awesome in your kitchen. How cute is that? I love that. I've just spotted these ones too. Look at this duck and this little froggy. And this one I love as well with the little ladybird. Oh, I've just turned around and I've been gated in. I think uh, they're raising the bridge here. You don't always get to see this. I think they're moving one of the barges for the fireworks show later. <laughs> It is all the way up now. It looks really crazy when you're right underneath it like this. And you can see the stuff coming through here. Lots of fireworks there. And now it's on its way back down. It does take a few minutes though to get that organised. It almost feels like a battle's about to commence <laughs> once they open these gates. And we have some more artwork over here. I love this Lumiere. That is really awesome. And look at this one, this Tower of Terror. Mickey looking very menacing there. And they have the Figment Festival of the Arts phone cases here. And also Apple Watch straps. So I just got myself a little gift card. You know that I like to do this to go round when you are going to the food booths or getting drinks and stuff. It's just easier than having to get your phone or your wallet or whatever out. And also look how cute this one is for this festival. It's like a rainbow band. I absolutely just had to get that. So I put that on, it's just a lot easier to pay then. And I also finally found the little festival passport thing which lists all of the food and the drinks and all of the art booths and things just so you know everything that is going on at this festival. And over here we've got pastoral palette where they've got a red wine braised beef short rib, a wild boar cassoulet and a black forest cake. The black forest cake looks really nice actually. And Snow White is doing a meet and greet there, love that. That's such a cute little meet and greet area as well. I do need a drink and I'm tempted to get a shoffle offer. I do just love the buildings here in the Germany pavilion and the music too. It actually really reminds me of my first ever trip to Disney World. For some reason the music from this pavilion in particular really just stuck in my head. So we're just having a little sit on the bench. I've got my shopper hopper. I love this drink. We were just saying I'm not a huge fan of grapefruit or a huge fan of beer but I love this and one thing I was just thinking while I was waiting to pay for this drink is something I would highly recommend if they're still doing it. I don't know 100% I will try and find out and put it on the screen is the World Showcase tour that you can do. I did it back in I want to say 2018. It might have been 2019 
Lane and you basically come to Epcot early in the morning before World Showcase is open and you get to go around the pavilions. You get about halfway around before it opens and then the rest of the time it's still really quiet and you get to go in the pavilions with nobody in there and it was one of the best things I have ever done. It was so good. I know during the pandemic a lot of stuff went away and it hasn't all returned but it was honestly so good. If you love Epcot and you do find it quite busy when you come here, especially during the festivals and stuff, um, it's just a great experience to be able to see everything with a very, very quiet amount of crowds, if any at all. When I did the Mexico Pavilion, we were the only people in there and it was just absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'll link it below if it is available at the moment. If not, they might bring it back. I know a lot of things haven't come back yet, but I think tours and things like that are probably the last things to come back. So hopefully it will at some point. So now we are just sat here, like I said, I've got my drink and we're just doing a bit of people watching, which is one of my favorite things to do in the World Showcase. I could actually sit here for quite a while. It's nice when it's like this and the sun isn't too hot on you and you can just sit here and watch the world go by. I love it. It's well worth taking the time to do that if you can, if you just need a little bit of a break. We've got a very suspicious looking cloud, but we're hoping it's not gonna rain all over us. Let's carry on into Italy, have a little look around there. We've realized our Spice Road table reservation is actually an hour later than we thought, so we've got a bit longer to wander before then. And here is one of my favorite artists, Thomas Kincaid. I always love all of this artwork. Look at this, I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. And this one as well, Belle and Beast. And Minnie and Mickey in Greece. That is beautiful. I love this. The Walt Disney World 50th celebration. I just love all of them. And you can buy the smaller canvases, these sizes, and they are $59. And they've got them all along here. So this is a larger one. And then they have these small ones. These larger ones are 99, just in case anyone was wondering. I would love that. So here in the Italy pavilion, they do have something that sounds amazing. Ravioli a fungi, which is wild mushroom stuffed pasta with truffle butter and truffle pearls. That sounds really good. And now we're at one of the most beautiful pavilions, in my opinion, which is Italy. Somewhere I really, really want to go for real, hopefully this year. I'm going to in there. Oh, Catherine's going in May. Excellent. I would love to, it's somewhere I've always, always wanted to go. And I can highly recommend Via Napoli at the end there. That's one of my favorite restaurants. The pizza is so good then. I'm sure the donkey used to be pulling a cart that sold these drinks. And now the donkey's just kind of over here, surrounded by these floral planters. So what's happened there? Has he been put out to pasture? What's going on? Or have I, I know, he's like, he's lost his sense of purpose. Or have I just totally misremembered it? But I'm sure he used to be like pulling a cart here. I've never really noticed this little area between the gelato place and there's just a little water fountain here with some nice artwork on. There's a few benches here that you can come and sit. This is really nice. I've never noticed this before. No, I haven't. And they've got some lights up and so at night, I would imagine that'd be really, really nice. So we're just grabbing a quick Joffrey's coffee because we're feeling a bit tired. We need to revive ourselves. And um, behind me is Regal Eagle. And I saw online that they have these new, some type of loaded fries or something like that, um, which I wanted to try today. Obviously we do have Spice Road Table, but that's kind of like small plates. And I'll probably only have something really small there. And it's not for a while. Oh, yeah, so I think we're gonna go in there and maybe try those out. And look who it is making their approach. Hey Donald! Okay, well that was a bit of a flop because they don't have the burnt ends loaded fries. So I just got myself a little mac and cheese. Um, and this mac and cheese is so good. It doesn't look that appetizing, but honestly, it's amazing. Um, just because it's a Valtilla dinner and I know I'm probably not gonna eat a lot of spice ray table. I wanted to try it because I've never tried it before, but the menu is not totally my cup of tea. Um, there's a couple of things I like and Catherine is more adventurous. She likes spicy food. So definitely um, there will be some stuff that we can show you on the menu, but I'm just gonna have my little mac and cheese now to tide me over. So we're all done in there, just having that quick stop. And I think next we're gonna watch the Disney Broadway show, which should be on, I think in about half an hour's time. I'm just over here by the stage, just waiting to go in for this. And I was just thinking how beautiful everything looks. All of these flower beds and everything all around the World Showcase, everything just looks so nice. So we're seated, we've got a nice little spot here actually. We're gonna Very not too far back. During Food and Wine and Flower and Garden, they have like concert series. This is a similar type of thing, but for the arts, it's the Broadway one. Don't pass it by because me and Dean used to just like walk by it and yeah. we went to a eat to the beat and someone gave us like a free sick of it. Yeah. And um, it was so good. We yeah. like really enjoyed it and they're very talented. So yeah. just if it's coming on at the right time, go see it. Yeah, Kate and I have done a couple and they really, really are great. So 
excited and have been so just amazingly welcomed to be part of this wonderful sixth season of the International Festival of the Arts Disney on Broadway concert series here at Epcot. Amazing, and now look at this sunset that is going on. Love Epcot at this time of night, it's so beautiful. I feel like when you see performances like that, when you think about the cost of your park ticket, getting to see something like that, those performers obviously do the Broadway shows and they're just so incredibly talented. So, yeah, really, really enjoyed that. Never miss it if you can just walk in and see it, definitely do because it's amazing. And just in case I didn't show it or I didn't say, um, it was Mandy Gonzalez and L. Stephen Taylor who we saw today and they were just so good. Oh, and I just want to say hi to Christopher as well, who I met back there. So, hi, Christopher, thank you for saying hello. So, we're going to press on through Japan and go straight to Morocco because we don't have long until our reservation. And I just want to say hi to Sophie who I just met back there as well. Everyone is here at Epcot this evening and um, someone just asked me to take their photo and it was a um, instant camera, you know, like the old school like Kodak type things. I barely even knew what to do with it. I was looking through this little, this tiny little viewfinder thing. I was like, I don't even know what I'm taking here. I love the look of this. Now, how do you say it? Is it mochi or mochi? Like, how do you say that? Mochi. Yeah. Mochi. Yeah. I always thought it was mochi. Anyway, that sounds amazing. Mixed berry mochi, sweet azuki bean paste a mascarpone. I feel like I might have to have that next time yeah, I come. Yeah, nice. I love more cheese. It's nice and cheap. Yeah, that looks really good. This sunset is honestly getting better by the second. Look at Morocco over there. Okay, here we are at Spice Road table. Yep, this is it. This says to-go beverage ordering, but I think we still go to this podium here. So we're seated here at Spice Road table, and it's kind of like open air, but not. So we are undercover. I guess if it was raining or whatever, but you can see right out onto the World Showcase, people walking past, and it's a QR code for the menu. So we're just going to get this menu. Catherine was just saying if you were sat like over here this would be so good for Harmonious. They have tables right by the water but I would imagine everyone tries to time it to yeah, sit over there I'm and then drag out your dinner so that you can uh, <laughs> actually do that. And they have hummus fries, calamari, lamb kefta. Oh no we don't want that. Those are so annoying aren't they? Me let me know in the comments the, the cookie pop up. Does it just infuriate you because it does me all the time. Uh, lamb kefta. However you, how do you say this? Hero I'm just not even attempting it. Um, naan spread, so I'm guessing that comes with naan bread, right? Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Then spicy shrimp. Um, I might get this, the pomegranate chili crispy cauliflower, that sounds good. Uh, spice chicken, then grape leaves filled with rice and herbs. I think that's quite a traditional Moroccan dish, isn't it? Yeah. I believe, anyway. And spice roll table samplers, so then you've got several of different items. And they also have a dessert platter. Okay, so we have some food. Catherine went for the sampler, so what was this again? No idea. No idea. This was the cheese pastry thing. Um, we're so good at describing food. This was the chicken and spices, and that one yep. was that long word that we were trying to pronounce with the T. Oh, okay, yes. That yes, the one. thing that we couldn't pronounce. Yeah. And I have the cauliflower. The sauce is kind of all over it. I was hoping the sauce was on the side. That was probably a stupid assumption, and I probably should have asked. Um, so that may potentially mean that I won't like it, but I'm gonna see how I go. I also got the Moroccan hot tea, which is like a green tea with mint. So this is our little dinner. This smells very like spicy. It smells yeah, good. Like it. Yeah, it's a lot of mint smell. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of mint wafting. Okay, here I go. I'm giving it a try. Mm. Mm. Well, I do like it. I do like it. It's not super spicy. The sauce is a little bit sweet because it's like a pomegranate sauce. Um, yeah, I do like it. I was really worried then when I saw it come out. I was like, uh oh. Because you know what I'm like? I'm very fussy about sauces and I'm very weird about food. Um, but yeah, that's actually really good. And this place is a good place to come if you don't want like a big heavy meal. It's all small plates. 
So actually, it's quite nice. It's just a very easy place to drop in. It's not busy in here at all. I would imagine you'd be able to get a walk-up, possibly, if you're looking for somewhere to eat and you don't have a reservation. So yeah, I feel like this would be a good place to try. Let's get a verdict. How's yours? Mm. Good? This is like a meat in, in, with a yogurt dip. So it's like a meat ball, but it's really dense. Mm -hmm. That chicken is really nicely spiced, but I will say it's a bit dry, that chicken. Okay. I haven't touched it in the dish yet, mm. but the pastry isn't crispy. It's a bit soggy. Okay. Even I would say that this is a good thing if you wanted to like try a bit of everything. Yeah, um, yeah it's I'm good. A big foodie, so I love doing some of this. Yeah. But yeah, this is stuffed with cheese inside it. Mm -hmm. Like a, almost like a feta cheese that's dry. No, it's really, really nice, all of it. Mm. That's just a little dry level on the Yeah. Good. And because it's dark outside now, I thought I would just quickly debrief on this restaurant while we're still here. In terms of what I recommend it, in certain cases yes, in certain cases no. So if you are looking for a kind of dinner experience, like a proper dining experience, I would not recommend it for that. I would however recommend it if you're just looking for a quick light bite or something like that, then it would be really, really good for that because they are small plates, so it's not good for like a proper full dinner. Um, and expensive Yeah, it's, it's kind of pricey for what the dishes actually are and the size of them and stuff. Um, if you are a very plain eater, you don't like spicy food, you're a bit weird about sauces and things like that, you might struggle. The dishes do kind of lean on the spicy side, I would say, although not super hot and spicy. It's not hot and spicy, just no. different spices like Moroccan spices, the mint, the yogurt. Exactly that, more, more like the flavours. If you're a bit fussy about flavours, then um, I'm not sure it would be for you, but if you like that kind of thing and you like to try different things and like the little sampler that Catherine had, that type of thing is good if you like to like test everything out. But if you're looking for like a sit down dinner, like a dining experience, it's no good for that. It's more of a kind of light bite snack kind of place, I would say. But the atmosphere's nice, it's nice being here in Morocco. Um, but we're all done with this now. I think we're gonna head out of Epcot now. We're feeling the pace a little bit, we're kind of tired. And we need to go and sort out this camera. So I'm gonna look up and see if we can find a Walmart that has a camera center. I think there is one fairly nearby and Catherine's gonna see if they can maybe get the lens off for her, or it's not the lens, it's like the end bit, um, to see if they can remove it. If they can't, she might have to buy a different lens. We need to figure it out. Um, so we're gonna go and jump in an Uber, do that, and we're coming back to Epcot later in the trip so we can do the other rides. We wanna do Spatial Perth, Test Track, Soarin', all that kind of thing. So we're gonna do that on our next visit. But it's been really good today, just kind of checking out Festival of the Arts, um, looking at all the artwork. We're gonna try more of the food next time as well, like the little snack items. So yeah, it's been a really nice Epcot day. In terms of how I'm feeling, because I was ill yesterday, I'm starting to flag now, but I think I've done okay. You I've... really have to go up like you're ill. Yeah, considering how bad I was yesterday, um, I'm not feeling too bad, but I am getting a little tired now, so we're gonna head out for the time being. Look at this Encanto picture. That is unreal, I love that. And look at this one. This is gonna make me cry, even thinking about it. I love that movie so much, but it really, really does make me cry a whole lot. And also, I was saying to Catherine, Soul is the other one that just, I am in pieces watching that. Let me know in the comments, which Disney movie it just makes you sob uncontrollably? The other one for me is um, Saving Mr. Banks. What's your biggest, like, Disney crying kind of movie? What sets you off? I think Coco. Yeah, it's bad. It is. It's bad. Yeah, Coco Soul and Saving Mr. Banks for me just cannot watch without crying. Oh, wow, look at that one. Look at that. That is very, very cool. If you like your niche characters. I just need to make an observation. Look how quiet it is back here. I don't know how well you can see it. Normally, this would be absolutely... Yeah, completely rammed. And this is massive, big space in front of me in France. What is going on here? And we haven't really had a chance to look around France on this visit, but we can definitely do that when we come back next time. It's taking everything I've got not to rush into Impressions to France. There's one in six minutes. I absolutely love that little film, but we will try and do it next time. Okay, I know we said we were leaving, but we can't resist. It's five minutes. We're going in. I swear this little film was probably actually recorded in the 80s or something, I want to say. It's like, it's very retro, but that's part of its charm. Yeah, I was just saying to Catherine, they have a Beauty and the Beast sing-along here during the day. But then they have the little old school film at night time, which is my favourite. But I'm in all the available things. We're sat in the middle of the row. Not allowed. So we've just emerged into the gift shop and the Belangerie. Look at this giant macaron display. I know, they're awesome, aren't they? They're so great. I am tempted by those. I just, I don't need any, are they? I guess it's what the yeah, air, they're plasticky ones, aren't they? They've got grips though that I've not seen. Oh yeah. Oh, like the sparkly band. I don't know why, but I really want to take the macarons. They're not for sale. I don't know what I'd do with them, obviously. Bonjour. 
done it, that's how you make it. <laughs> how, do you, how do you put it with the rain? I think, do you, are you supposed to have it at a jaunty angle? <laughs> we love that little film. Catherine really liked it as well. It is, it is super vintage. It is classic Epcot to me. I hope they never get rid of it. But you know what I'm like. I hope they never get rid of anything because I like things in Epcot to stay as they are. They can add things, but don't take anything away. And just to let you know, as we're leaving, the Ratatouille attraction is 50 minute wait. It's currently 10 to 8, and the park closes okay. at 9. Just to give you an idea, so 50 minutes is not too bad. And I bet it's not quite that long. We're not going to get in that line now because, of course, we need to leave. But yeah. Yeah, roughly 50 minutes for that one. I do absolutely love this pavilion at night. The France pavilion just looks so good. It is one of my favourites at night time. We're just noticing as we're leaving, while there are like quite a few people about, it is nowhere near as busy as normal. Quite often at this time of night, this would be like completely full of people. And as you can see, it's actually fairly quiet and it's Sunday today. So yeah, I kind of thought it would have been busier. On the subject of it being quiet, we just thought we'd look at the wait times and Test Track was 40 minutes. I think Frozen was showing us 50. Um, Soaring is 15, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's quiet. yeah, that's crazy. Living with the land, five minutes. Spaceship Earth, five minutes. So yeah, it's a quiet evening here in Epcot. When we're leaving, I have to walk through World Traveller. I feel like I actually have to now. I can't just go to the left, I've got to go through here. I think most of what's in here we've seen before. I do love that lounge fly. Well, that looks like something that you'd need in the parks in the evening. Yeah. It's very fluffy. Made it to the beach club, our classic Uber spot. This is the best place to come to, or quickest I should say, to get yourself an Uber, rather than walking all the way to the front of the park. And plus any excuse to come to a Disney resort and smell the smell in the lobby, then I am there. Okay, our Uber is called. I've just taken the ears off. I feel like if you turn up to Walmart or Target and start walking around in your mini ears, I think I would look like a legit crazy lady. So it's time to take the ears off. We're feeling the pace now. I am tired, I must be honest. I really am ready to get back, just relax, have a cup of tea. But we do need to go to Walmart first, mainly for the camera, but also there were a few things that Target didn't have the other day. So we're just gonna grab those and then go back and just relax. Hey everyone, I'm back from the trip now and I just realized when I was editing this vlog that I did not finish the vlog for this day. Apparently I was just so tired, I didn't even pick up the camera after we'd gotten our Uber. So I just wanted to quickly end this vlog, just to let you know what happened with the camera because I don't want to leave you hanging on that story. Unfortunately, we had no luck in getting it fixed. We tried to buy like a tool at Walmart to try and um, kind of prize it off because we'd looked at some videos on how to do that. Nothing worked, it wasn't coming off. So she just got on and used it as it was and I think the footage was okay in the end. I really hope you guys are enjoying this new series of Disney World vlogs. If you are, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell icon so you're always notified when I upload a new video. I'll be back in Orlando for Flower and Garden Festival in May and I'm going to be taking my mum for the first time ever. She has never been to Orlando. I've been going for 20 years as you know. It's going to be her first trip and I'm so excited for that so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys are all good and having a great day and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Woo! <laughs>